what's going on again guys so this is going to be part three of the fuel series for this jeep um, today we're going to handle pulling the fuel rails off the return style fuel rails off putting on a return with style fuel rail and basically swapping the injectors over and all that stuff i just want to break this down into a different part uh, just because you may not have to do this with your ls depending on which one you put in because some of them come with the return style um, return with style rail already on them so you might not have to do this and also try to stop the videos from getting too long so we're going to go ahead and get started pull this rail off and uh, get the injectors and everything swapped over all right guys so i already actually had these taken loose from where i worked on it before but uh if you need to take them loose and you don't know how it's going to be the four bleed eight millimeter bolts it's actually these here that i got stuck in the top of the intake manifold but it'll be four of these one right there one right there one here and one there uh if you ain't got a fuel line if you still got your fuel line on there you just have to get a either a pocket screwdriver or if you got a fuel line quick disconnect tool go in there hit the tabs inside the fuel line and you can be able to pop it right off but mine's already off because i'm already in the middle of doing the fuel thing so like i said i've already had this off before so mine's going to pop right off now, sometimes you have to pull up on these pretty good because those are rings for the injectors we'll hold them into that intake manifold pretty tight but this is what i got uh this is actually a returnless style one too that's on there i've already tried switching this is a new model fuel rail and the problem with this one is it just uh doesn't sit at the right height for the injector so the injectors don't seat in the intake manifold but uh i have the return style sitting on the ground ground over there that was originally on this but now i got a gen 3 returnless fuel rail i'm gonna have to use because i can't use this one because of the mounting height Right, so let's sit this on the ground. We'll get everything switched over. Like that. Ooh. Get an old cap. Fill up with some trans fluid or oil or whatever you happen to have. And I just dip it on each side to get some oil on the rings. Boom. Pops right in. So, go ahead and pull this one out. Dip it. Boom. Pops right in. So, I'm going to hammer through these real fast. here and yeah, just take that off slide it on in it's got a little notch cut in it pop that in Alright, 
So, you got the fuel line going up. You got the single line feeding the fuel rail. And you got your rails in there and all your injectors. These are the four bolts I was telling you about. You got one right there, one right there, one right there, one right there. And that's pretty much it. So that's gonna be it for this video. Like I said, pretty simple, easy thing to do. Just thought I'd throw this in here for any of you guys that is having to do the switch over. Uh, some of you might be wanting to put a return style rail on it. Uh, some of you might want to go returnless. Yeah, so I mean it works either way just the only difference is you'll have to hook up two lines a return line and a feed line Whereas the return list style or whatever you just have to hook up the feed line But again, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys again for watching um, Gonna try and get some more content coming out to you on this Jeep uh, So I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one and y'all have a good day